I'm a sick and unattractive man. I believe I'm developing a shortness of breath. It could just be a cold, but I really hope I got COVID-19. I won't be seeking treatment. Not because I won't be seriously harmed, but out of pure spite. I just don't want to be treated. Even if they were offering a vaccine, I would turn it down. Anti-vaxxer, you ask? Nah. I just want to feel like as much shit as possible. See, a man with my intellect should not be in the predicament I'm in. I kind of deserve the punishment. It appears I'm shrinking down below. Now, I'm no Clydesdale, boys, but under no circumstance should I be resembling a baby turtle poking its head out, and yet... I can only imagine the reason for its shrinking is due to my lack of manhood. As if Mother Nature herself was just like, Nah, you ain't it, Chief. Why do I feel this way? Let me tell you. On the last day before quarantine, I set out to save work. The government announced it had authorized police officers to limit grocery purchases to avoid panic hoarding. I thought this was a perfect opportunity to prove to myself I'm an alpha and stand up to authority. I stocked a grocery cart full of shit. An officer stood beside the till as I approached with a massive load. Did I need everything I had? No. Other people around me had no worthy loads, but none as large or as impressive as my own. I knew most items would sit untouched for months. I only went there to exercise my right to buy whatever I wanted. To alpha up and not be pushed around by some nerd wearing a badge. Until he stopped me. Tall, muscular, handsome. This motherfucker just flirted with the cashier and didn't even look at me as he removed item after item from my goddamn cart. He just laid me out in front of this chick and all I did was stand there like an idiot too scared to say anything. Ugh, I'm so unlucky, man. Why did this one officer have to be a stud? If it was just some regular little fat dude, I would have flexed on him. But I, I put my card in, paid for my remaining goods, and left. I was not going to let him win. I decided to write in a complaint. Dear Constable Jones, I began. His name was burnt into my mind. I would say you humiliated me at Safeway the other day, but I'd be lying. You see, a man of my intellect cannot be offended by such a stickler for bureaucracy as yourself. This, of course, in itself was a lie, but I had to present myself as not offended as possible to gain the edge of confidence. Despite your incredible stature and obvious physical superiority, your lack of consciousness is frankly embarrassing. Taking care to seem as cool as possible, I went on to belittle him and implored him to apologize, hinting rather plainly at a lawsuit in case of refusal. This was, of course, in the most charming way possible, boys. I came off so cool in my letter that I half expected Constable Jones to beg me for my friendship. How sick would that have been? I would have accepted and we could have slayed together. Him with this charming smile, perfectly ripped bod and charisma, and me with my... Ugh. I hate myself. Do you have any idea how disheartening that level of confidence is? Y you know, like if he had some self-awareness, maybe uh, I could have chipped away at him, but... How can I when he's just this thoughtless oaf, this thoughtless, perfect man? All of this was of course 104 days ago and I've spent the entire quarantine rewriting this letter over and over. I was sick every time I thought about sending it to him. Over time, boys, I just edited out all the slams and it began to seem more and more like a sad plea for friendship than a challenge. He probably would have just trashed it before even opening it. But like, what if he opened my letter, read it, and laughed, and then showed it to the broad from Safeway who he must have inevitably went to bed with? God, the humiliation. What would I have done then, boys? Moved to another city? Left the country? I would have had to. I couldn't bear the thought of even being in the same time zone as a man who not only didn't care to know I was alive, but even in my asserting my existence just laughed me off like a little yippy lapdog. I couldn't even send my stupid letter. I put it in the trash and it will never see the light of day. In a way, I'm kind of relieved I'm such a huge pussy because Constable Jones will never know I spend 104 days dreaming of him. Today's the first day we were allowed back outside, but I'll be here, boys, in my cave, hoping my dumb ass got this virus and wishing more than anything that I was Constable Jones and not myself. <laughs>